I'm Maya Shahani, chairperson of Sage Foundation, which is a global organization. It's a non-profit organization committed to promoting quality education and social empowerment in the under-resourced. Uh, today, Excel honored me with the Extraordinary Life 2009 Award. I remember when I first joined Excel, what I was then and what I am now, even I can't recognize myself. It has, Excel has really transformed my life so much. In 2006, I was pretty unsure of myself and um, Roger's uh, credo, create wealth to give it away. His other observation, his other mentoring that uh, you, you shouldn't limit yourself by the illusion of limited resources was the thing that attracted me to Excel in the first place because I'd reached a stagnation point in my life where I was already running a foundation, but it, it wasn't progressing to the level which I wanted it to progress to, and that was making it global and reaching out to more and more people. And I said to myself, my resources are limited because it was only family funds, and I didn't have the know-how as to how to make it global. But uh, listening to Roger and the conviction with which he said it tempted me to join Excel. And I'm very glad I did because soon after that, I was uh, not tempted but literally pushed into going to EBS Bali by Mike Hancock. I told Mike, I'm not at all ready, I've just joined Excel, I don't know a thing about business plans. I've never been a business lady, I work mainly from the heart. And uh, you were supposed to take a great big business plan to Bali and I was really terrified. But Mike insisted that I go, he said, don't think, just, just jump into it. And I did go. and. Uh, it was an experience. I thought I would be somewhere in the shadows, but I was literally pushed onto the center stage and I was amazed that I was one of the winning teams. Sage Foundation came out second that year, in the year 2006. And uh, that really taught me how to jump out of my boat, to jump out of my comfort zone. Now when I see myself, I was terrified of traveling alone. And uh, recently I've been to Mexico on Mike's uh, Rock Your Life uh, Mayan Prophecy Tour. There, one by one, both Mike Hancock and Dave Rogers made me get rid of my fears. And uh, I discovered that only after you get rid of your fears, you can discover the true divinity within you. So uh, there have been many examples in Excel where I've grown from uh, level to level. It's not just financial help. It's been uh, mentoring and emotional support. The mentors in EBS Bali, the master's program that I attended, I remember they, they made me cry. I was so miserable because there again I didn't have a business plan. And I told them when Martin Luther King uh, uh, said that uh, he had a dream, no one asked him, but you don't have a business plan. And I just couldn't understand why they were after the so-called business plan. So my message to everyone is that whatever field you are in, but I'm particularly talking of charities, this is what I run, and uh, you have to have that kind of confidence within you that you are the best and you can really expand your wings, you can really do whatever your heart desires, but single-handedly you, you can achieve just so much. Collectively, we can do so much more, and this is what the Excel family is all about, because this is collective human endeavor, and um, for me, the world is my oyster now. I'll, uh, there, there, there have been so many instances where I was running a school. We, we had adopted slums in Mumbai, the Gita Nagar slums. It was closing down, but before I would have said, OK, I, I would have put my hands up and said, well, this is I can't do anything about it. But at that moment, Paul Dunn was there. I'd taken him to see the slums. And he was so inspired by the slum dwellers there. And I told him the school is closing down for lack of funds. And, Immediately, he gave me a check of $10,000, which saved the lives of 250 children who would have really been out on the roads. And these are the children who really, they, they were aspiring to be great citizens and great human beings. There was a little boy called Rajesh. Uh, Paul had asked him, um, if there's anything you'd like to change in your environment, what would that be? And this boy, who was just nine years old, a slum dweller, he said that he would like to change the people. So uh, Paul asked him, and how would you do that, Rajesh? And Rajesh said, I would do that by educating them. 
So this was what they were all aspiring for. They all wanted to be educated. They were crying for help. And um, an XL member came at the right time and he helped them. There was an, an, another example. XL, um, SAGE is not only into education and social empowerment. We are looking at environment very seriously. And um, I really wanted to help out on that front. And there again, an XL member came to my help. There's Andy Steele of Pat Foundation. We made friends in Bali when I'd gone in 2006. And he knew that I had uh, a big networking base in India. There was connectivity. It is a mutual win-win situation. It's not that you are only being helped. You can also help in return. And uh, recently, the Standard Chartered Bank had asked Andy if uh, he could plant trees in India. Now, Andy was based in Thailand, and he gave me a call. He said that, uh, Maya, I have this offer. The Standard Chartered Bank is funding this project. Can you plant 2,000 trees in a week's time? So uh, that was a big challenge for me. But I said, hey, I'm an XL member. I can take on any challenges. So I did take this on, and I got in touch with the Times Foundation, who connected me with the Navy. The Navy had ample grounds to plant the 2,000 trees and they were actually looking for people to plant trees for them because this is what they were, that was their CSR also. So this is how as uh, bees pollinate flowers from one flower to the other, you can really grow a beautiful garden if you work collectively. There has to be that uh, sense of, uh, you know, uh, giving back. The, like Roger says, show up, step up and give back. It's only the people who participate, they're the ones who benefit through an organization like Excel. I know there have been many um, uh, comments where people said, oh, but nothing is happening. But from my observation, I feel it's the people who've been on the periphery, who, who've just been spectators and they haven't really uh, stepped up. They are the ones who haven't really uh, played the game and nothing has happened with them. So I would say the fault lies not with Excel, but with people themselves and uh, personally I've had all good experiences with Excel. If anyone were to ask me uh, which is the best organization you've been in, I'm, I'm on many different organizations. I'm on several committees and I, I, I always reach the top level. I'm the chairperson in most of the committees. But I would say wholeheartedly if there's only one organization you should join, it should be Excel. And now that Excel has uh, gone on to the next level, it's uh, really metamorphosed from a caterpillar into a butterfly. Excel Nation has so many possibilities because uh, I, I think, um, as I said earlier, I've always believed in one world, one people, um, a nation without boundaries, without any reservations, a nation that accepts everyone, rich or poor, from any uh, culture, any organize, any uh, color, any caste. Uh, America can't do this. America is limited by its uh, space. India can't do it because all nations are limited by the limitation of space. They can't go beyond their boundaries. Excel is the only nation that is universal that can do this because Excel has no boundaries. All it has to share is love and, and um, uh, faith in each other and total trust in each other.